So Ali, one of the big things is uh, Siseko's range of products that are for the whole house and inline water treatment systems. Um, perhaps we can start by looking at the, um, the Vortex, the triple Vortex water system and how this works and, and what it does for the water. Obviously we, we talk a lot on this side about softening the water but it, it's a far more complex process than just calling it a softening of system, course, isn't it? Yes. Perhaps you can explain a bit <clears throat> more about it. <clears throat> well, the, the Saiseiko AVS water activator, it's got a triple um, activator inside, which is great. In the same space, you have three times activation. <clears throat> and what it is, is when we live in a hard water area, you can have lime scale buildup, you can have furring of, of pipes, you will have a situation where, you know, maybe slime things, slimy things can grow there, you will have corrosion as well, possibly, depending on what kind of water you have. So the Saiseiko AVS with the triple vortex, what it does, when the water goes through this, it spins in a very fast way and creates centripetal and centrifugal forces. So what happens is that when you have lime scale, it is a, normally in a sticky form. Okay, that's what lime scale is. It, over the time, when the water dries in the pipes, it starts building, it sticks to each other and builds up what we call lime scale on the taps, toilets, baths, tiles, etc. What this system does is it changes the, the lime scale into a non-sticky form. That's, that's what it does. So a salt water softener is what it is. I can never say this is a, a, a softener in, in, in terms of a salt water softener. It does it in a different way. It's a different way and you have the same effect. So, uh, of course, you know, when you have a salt water softener, you have the consumable, you have to replace, you have to put salt, and the water can become corrosive. So what you don't want is over years, <clears throat> you end up having corroded pipes, which you have to go and replace. I mean, what is the cost for that? Uh, you know, it's very hard to estimate. So this one makes uh, the, the water non-corrosive, takes away the, 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 the scale buildup in your pipes, and there are so many benefits. A, when you shower with quote unquote softened water or less uh, lime scale, the effect is, is very wonderful on, on the skin. The other thing is, you know the cost of energy is increasing every day. It's almost like, you know, we just think what's gonna happen next. So when you have a one millimeter build up of scale in your heating element, in your uh, heater or um, boiler, <clears throat> you lose 10% efficiency of your boiler. So you just add the millimeters. You, you can see <clears throat> how much more you have to pay to have the same effect of warming your, your hot water, your radiators, your, your shower, etc. And it also, because of the centripetal and centrifugal forces, it pulls in more oxygen. So you get a more, more dissolved oxygen, <clears throat> whereas some water can have corrosive water. <clears throat> and therefore more carbon dioxide. So this one has a higher content of oxygen and it has an effect on bacteria as well. So bacteria that like uh, oxygen, the spinning action has an effect on removing those kind of bacteria. And those of, of course that don't like oxygen because the added uh, oxygen inside will die from that as well. So we have two benefits on that as well. So, <clears throat> If we um, kind of summarize yes. um, a little bit about what this does, inside here, and we'll put a graphic up which shows the, the, the spiral, the yes. helix, the triple helix inside, exactly. the water is, instead of just passing along the pipe in a straight line, it's spun around the pipe, which means it's got to travel faster. Also, as it's spinning, it gets into a vortex within itself, Sure. so you've got a spinning and a, the, to create a, a high-speed vortex. So the water is accelerated into a vortex. Yes. And that creates centrifugal and centripetal forces. Yes. Okay. And in those forces, what's actually happening? Mm. I'm, I can understand that the water molecules, which as they've come through the pipes from the processing plant several miles away, they've become clustered together. The exactly. molecules get <clears throat> clumped together with all the impurities, the heavy metals. The, the lime scale and obviously gases as well, including chlorine. Yes. Okay, the centrifugal force is a bit like, a, I guess, like a, a, a modern vacuum cleaner that uses a, a, a vortex. 
well known brands use yeah, this. Yeah, well known yes. brand, brands use a vortex in a vacuum cleaner to yes. separate dust from the air. Absolutely. This is using a vortex to pull apart these clustered molecules to yes. make microclusters. <clears throat> yeah, the, the microclustering is, is the important key <clears throat> because on, on a more technical level, the cell walls, the human cells, including plants, you know, even in agriculture, we can use these. Phenomenal for agriculture. What it means is that, the, like you've pointed out, the large clusters make it very difficult for the water to penetrate the cell walls, the cell wall membranes. <clears throat> when the water is broken you know, into these macro clusters, it makes the water very easy to hydrate the cells and the skin. And we all need more hydration. Uh, as, as we age, we lose the moisture content in our, in our skin. So I think it's important for all of us to, to think about this aspect as well. And we get feedback from, from people saying that their skin is softer, they, they feel uh, they're not putting creams, uh, it's not irritating. And you know, the benefit as well on a cost is like your appliances. Yeah. You know, dishwashers, we got washing machines, we have all these things. We see a lot of advertising for buy this phen phenomenal thing for descaling and they show you what your internal aspect or the, the internal aspect of a washing machine looks like. Well, this is a way of a proactive maintenance. So this will, this will help to descale pipes and appliances? Now, over time. Over time, It's obviously. not like an instant thing. Yeah. You know, you may have years and years of build-up. You know, in certain countries we have 100-year-old houses, whatever. We don't know how much there is. So what happens is... The, in, no, in a hot country, the effect is faster. Within three months, you'll be able to see the effect. In a cooler climate, when the water is colder, then it can take up to six months to see the effects. But gradually, it'll start taking the scale that is sticky. Th there is scientific, you know, it's all chemistry I, and, and physics in I there. I know you showed me the, the formula, which yes. um, I didn't fully understand, to yes. be fair, where you had the, the calcium, Yes. which is uh, in the water, going through the vortex, and then you get uh, negative ions yes. bonding with the calcium to change it from a positively charged particle into a negatively charged particle, yes. which I don't fully understand, but effectively what that does is it turns it from being a sticky, part, sticky, sticky molecule yes. into a non-sticky molecule That's it. so that it no longer um, sticks to the pipes. And obviously... This is creating those negatively charged uh, ions, which then travel through into the pipe and start to negatively charge the existing lime scale and slowly but surely wear it away and exactly. allow it to, to be passed through the pipes instead exactly. of sticking to yeah. the sides. You know, we, we have a, a testimonial from a hospital <clears throat> where they had corroded pipes and they put in one of these vortex devices and the result was, I mean, they were expecting a huge amount to replace their pipes. There was so much rust. <clears throat> One of the aspects that you've correctly pointed out is the negative ions or, or the creation of the negative ion element inside is that it reverses the red rust, iron oxide, into another type of metal rust. It's called black rust. The correct term is ferric ferrous oxide. Sorry to be a bit technical but it changes that rust into something that hardens the pipes again. Mm. And once it becomes this common name is black rust, it will never re revert to red rust as we commonly see you know, the red color. Know. And the amazing thing is you don't have to buy an additive <coughs> or a chemical to do that. This will do it using physics and chemistry to do that. Using the ionizing, the negative ions created exactly. through the vortex. Yes. So, looking at what people get a water softener for, a normal water softener will actually remove the calcium yes. from the water, which is a different process to what we're talking about okay. here. What we're talking about here is we change the calcium by charging it with negative ions. That will eff effectively stop it acting like yes. lime scale any longer. That gives us the benefits of soft water. So you also, obviously, we microcluster the water so you get the, the lower surface tension, which means that um, soaps, Yes. Uh, obviously, you're going to get the benefits just like with soft water, you know, chemically softened water. The soap, you last longer, you need less soap. You need less soap. It's healthier for shampoo. the skin. Absolutely. 
Okay, so I'll get, well, not me, but uh, people would get the softness in their hair and the skin just the same as they would with a water softener. Yeah, you know, we, we, again, we get feedback from, from clients saying that their, their hair feels shinier, softer. They're using less shampoo, less soap. And again, you know, this is cost saving. Over a year, if you calculate how much soap and shampoo you buy, you might have a, have a family, two, three, four kids, you, you never know. There's a lot of cost in that involved. Yeah. If we can reduce this through the benefit of a vortex, it's a great way to do your environmental bit as well. What I like about Saiseko, the Japanese company, is that their ethos is, you know, they want to make sure that we all realize that there are finite resources in the world. They use the best grade stainless steel so that you use it a lifetime. It's not planned obsolescence that you have to get rid of and buy uh, you know, filters, cartridges, and all these things. So you don't have to top. buy salt or chemicals or anything. No. This goes in once and lasts a lifetime. And let's face it, this I've got this in my hands, and it's it's solid steel. Absolutely. It is stainless steel. It's not going to rust. It's no. not going to corrode in any way. There's no moving parts. Well, the only moving part is the water. Exactly. So there's nothing to wear out in this. Nothing to wear out. There's no salt. There's no maintenance. There's You've got just about all the benefits... Obviously, without salt, of course, it means you can drink this, yes? Well, that's, that's a wonderful uh, question or point here, because when you have uh, a salt water softener, there's a the sodium and chloride aspect. <clears throat> Calcium will bind with the chloride, that will go into the drain. What it does to the drain is also a big issue, because in certain states of America, they've banned salt water softeners, because what it's doing to the, the groundwater or what it's doing to the sewage treatment system with the, the calcium and the chloride. And you are left with sodium in the water. Now, if you, if you want, uh, I mean, a salt water softener will give you this sticky, well, slimy water where when, when you put soap, it's really hard to get rid of. And you don't know, even know if you've gotten rid of the soap. It's that way. It's a bit slimy. Um, but the sodium aspect, uh, if there is a health issue, heart, you know, blood pressure. The last thing you want to do is to drink water that has sodium. But if you are in a situation where you have, a, let's say, a hotel or uh, a bed and breakfast or a large, uh, large home where you want to be able to drink water from the other taps, if you've got salt water going through there, I don't know, are you going to have uh, a hard water tap in, in every bathroom? You know, it, it, it's well, then you've got the issue that people will drink from the wrong tap, they'll get ill. Uh, and, and then you have to have so signs to say, you know, yeah, please don't yeah. drink water from this tap, etc. So it could be an issue. So, in summary, this, this unit, using a vortex, in much the same way as a lot of modern vacuum cleaners do, will give you the benefits of softened water by changing the calcium in the water from one form to another. It doesn't use any pollutants, any chemicals or salt, so it's good for the environment. Sure. It's good for your health because it uh, microclusters the water, making it easier for it to hydrate your body or plants or whatever living things come in contact with it. It's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, you can drink it, and it takes, I understand, less than an hour for a plumber to fit it, usually less than half yeah. an hour depending on the yes. accessibility of your pipe. That's right, because it depends on what you use. You can use these bolts or you can use compression fittings. So depending on, on how you do it, it's a very easy install. Yeah, and if you've got a different, let me, uh, we've got one here. If you've got a different sized pipe to the one exactly. that's designed here, you just get a, yep. an adapter. You just you you know, take up. this off, and then you just put in the compression fitting. <laughs> so literally, it's as simple as that. If your pipe is a different size to the one, you just literally replace this. Yep. With and the, then that joins, and into, that joins onto the pipe. into the pipe, and you do the same thing at the other end. So you're using standard fittings that are available, any plumber would, any just plumber, would know any, which ones absolutely. to get, depending on which pipe you've got in your home. Yes. And it's as simple as bolting it into place, and then if you move, you can either take it with you or use it as a selling point. I think it would be great, yeah, great selling point. If you've enjoyed the benefit of this activated vortex water, you can pass on this gift to, to the people and, of course, tell them what it is 
and they can enjoy this experience and where, when you move you get your own again and of course they do come in different sizes depending on the size of pipe size of pipe you've got size. Thank you.